solution that will develop 21st century skill among learners through project based learning cross curricular resources and 360 degrees multi dimensional progress cards aligned to national education policy 2020 and developed in partnership with iit delhi my heartiest congratulations to macmillan education india for the launching of voltera their uh, foray into primary education uh, in the indian system you know in the iit system we always emphasize on how to learn rather than what to learn and i am very confident that with the launching of voltera macmillan education india is taking a right step towards project based learning for igniting young minds through primary education that will take uh, india into the future Altura's project based pedagogy makes teaching and learning fun and effective with extensive support of digital resources pre-designed assignment and lesson plans assessments and many more exciting features at the tip of their fingers teachers will not only have a seamless teaching experience but will also have a lot of me time gives parents visibility into their child's performance at a touch of a button It works seamlessly across PCs, laptops, tablets and smartphones and on both iOS and Android. Enhance your school's academic performance by taking data-driven decisions. Be the best with Altura. And good evening, everyone. Uh, is Anil sir with us? Yes, Raju. He is here. Okay. Okay. Good evening, everyone. This is uh, this is Raju once again from Macmillan, your host for this uh, course on art integration in teaching. So we are uh, here on the third. webinar of uh, the course art integration in teaching on behalf of macmillan and rapsody i welcome all the teachers and the school leaders who have joined us through zoom and also through youtube to this third webinar of the course on art integration in teaching curated by macmillan education and rapsody we if you remember those who have joined us we had our first webinar on the 3rd of october the second on the 10th of october and today is the concluding webinar of this course in the first webinar series we learned how music is connected to the brain and how different parts of the brain gets activated with music in the second webinar we experienced how music is integrated with mathematics with architecture with physics and chemistry we found how music helps in sequential pattern learning in maths and we have also experienced how the concept of doppler's effect in physics can be explained to the students through an interesting musical activity thanks to dr anil and team who have made it so easy for us to understand how music can actually help in activating and you know making learning easy for the students today we are looking forward to know more on integration of music with various subjects that can be taken to our classrooms to help students learn better let me introduce our coach for the course on on art integration in teaching i'm sure that those who have attended our first and second webinar dr anil is not new to you but there might be many who have uh, who are attending this uh, webinar for the first time so for all of you let me introduce our coach dr anil dr anil srinivasan is a highly respected pianist and a national award recipient in 2010 for creative and experimental music dr anil is a regular speaker at the conferences and a columnist with the hindu and the new indian express on music and the brain and i am phil from columbia university specializing in cognitive neuroscience dr anil is a respected expert resource on child development for various organizations he was recently awarded the educator extraordinary citation from rotary international the aspen global fellowship for social change and the ken hob citation for social responsibility dr anil is an associate professor of practice at crea university dealing with art science and cross disciplinary ideas in education 
Dr. Anil is also the founder of Rhapsody, Education Through Music, a venture that has pioneered the idea of academic concept learning using music as a, as a tool in schools. So we now welcome Dr. Anil Srinivasan to take charge of this session and uh, let us all know more about how music can be integrated to different subjects and can be taken to the classroom. Over to you, Anil, sir. Good evening, sir. Uh, good evening. Uh, am I audible? Yes, sir. You yes, are. Sir. Okay. My request is uh, for Raju to please mute all participants because we constantly have problems on that. I'll do that, sir. Uh, and also my request uh, from Rajuji is uh, somebody from your end could help me share the PowerPoint today because I'm having um, internet issues as well. So, so uh, Akriti, can I uh, please request you to make Anil Sar the co-host? Done. Yes, sir. You can share. Okay. No, no. I, I request your help to help me share it because uh, for whatever reasons, uh, the file is not uh, responding on my system. Okay. Uh, I've been having uh, multiple uh, internet issues today. I'm requesting. Uh, I know it's taking a couple of minutes extra today. In any case, a lot more people are joining. So we will start uh, exactly at 5.40. It's 5.34 right now. I think that will give us some time to uh, set this up. In the meanwhile, Rajoji, if you want to share the uh, Altura communication one more time while we're uh, working through this problem. Is that okay, sir? Yeah, I think we'll work with that, Rajuji. Um, if you can just put it on the slideshow, please. Sure. I'll do that. I think we are still waiting on quite a few participants, is that right? Yes, sir. Yeah. 
So I'll start at 5.40 exactly, it's 5.36, we've still got about four minutes, which will allow us time for everybody else to join in as well. Anil sir, we can start actually. There are many who are also following us in the YouTube. Uh, so so we will we'll start that and somebody has asked me to play, so we will start by deep playing as always. too much of good music ha 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 okay so welcome back to the last and final session of art integration and in the intervening period um, once again uh, okay this time i think if there is going to be people not muting i'm just going to stop i think i will just stop
Okay, so hopefully we will continue now because it's very difficult to focus on playing and saying something when somebody uh, is not muting on the other end. So uh, I'll have to stop and then restart because uh, my internet is also a bit slow. So, you know, multiple issues there. Anyway, so what do we mean by art integration? What do we not mean by art integration? So I'm going to start with that. Um, in the intervening period between the webinars, there have been some questions that people have been sending me. But one of the questions is, um, how do we integrate Hindustani music? And how do we integrate Karnatak music? And how do we integrate Bharatanatyam and things like that? Now, I think one of the mistakes we are making is again talk, is mistaking art education with art integration. And these are two different things. Okay, Art education is people teaching you to play this and you know people teaching you to dance and those kinds of things and that is actually training in the art form but when i have to use the art form as an application within a different discipline within a different domain that is when we refer to it as art integration so i think the important thing that we need to do is first to be able to define what this term Sir, you were lost for a second, but now you are back. We can see you. Okay, can you all see me better now? Yes, sir. Okay, this should be much better now. Yeah, all right. So the first point, can you hear me? Yeah, yes, okay. So the first point that I was making is essentially the difference between art integration and art education and I said that art education okay, is learning how to play an art form, being able to um, successfully master even a skill related to the arts, etc. But when we are getting into art integration, we are talking about how art can be repurposed within regular education, within the regular classroom. right? And that is what I have been talking about. So Raju had given you a very good summary um, using several uh, examples from what I've spoken about in webinar one and two, which includes the effect the art has on the brain, specifically music in the brain, um, including examples in physics, chemistry, and mathematics that I have been using in explaining this integration idea. Okay. Um, could we go to the first slide, please? So today I've decided that I'm going to leave us all with 30 lessons, okay? 30 lessons, each lesson is like this, it is one slide. Um, and these 30 lessons are like a monthly calendar for you. Okay, if you want to please print it out and keep it such that it becomes a monthly calendar. And each one has a specific idea, specific philosophy or insight, which is clubbed to it. The first one is that art is not separate. As I said, we are discussing art integration and not art education. Okay. This webinar, this idea, what the national education policy is saying, what we are all working towards in this group here is not how to teach Carnatic music better and how to teach Hindustani music better. No, it is not even to discuss should our school have music teacher as well as dance teacher as well as no. We are talking about how every teacher needs to understand the idea of art integration into their classes. Are you teaching chemistry? You still need to understand how art integration works. Are you teaching mathematics? You still need to understand how art integration works. That's what we are here to discuss today. Art is not separate from you. And how is it not separate? It is like how we were saying. So um, x plus y, the whole square is x square plus y square plus 2xy. If you know the formula, 
you'll know how and you'll know why now imagine that that is suddenly becoming a part of the classroom imagine that that is suddenly becoming a part of the classroom even if you don't sing it let's say there's a a music player or a media player that is going to do it let us say that we plan our lesson plans in such a way that art is coming into <laughs> Okay, how art is going to come into whatever we are teaching. Let's say that we want to look at how the formula for sodium chloride will work. Let us talk about today the story of salt, sodium first, chlorine in a halt. Let us talk today about the song about salt. It is part of all we eat, and so on and so forth. And this is the kind of idea that we're talking about now. Is this going to sound a bit silly in seventh and eighth standard? Probably yes. Right? Will it sound a little appropriate in third, fourth standard? Probably yes. And probably children are going to sing this along with us. So. Some of the questions I know people ask is ninth standard. You know the students are getting very restless. If you show them songs and all that, they won't listen. Let me tell you that actually it's the opposite. By the time they come to the ninth, one of the things that silences them is art. Okay, because uh, by the time a child is fourteen, and if you are a parent or a teacher like us, you will all understand this. By the time a child becomes fourteen in today's world, they already think they have all the solutions, right? That we have nothing to teach them anymore. Okay. that we are very uncool and very boring and we don't say anything that is exciting but suddenly imagine if uh, the concept of complex fractions or the concept of a third suddenly took the same tune as an ed sheeran tune supposing i were to take uh, imagine by believer and instead of the song words of imagine by believer i started putting in let us say something from english literature that we are actually teaching them and that song plays right at the beginning of the classroom i want you to visualize how you know you ask them all to close their eyes for a second and then play the song from a music player and they listen to it would they be more interested or less interested already from psychology from neurophysiology from cognitive neuroscience i have already told you that the answer is yes because it is making them concentrate more and if we talk to them in a language that they find cool right art integration can become your friend it is not an enemy it is not an imposition it is actually something that will become a part of what we do okay could we have the next slide please please okay i'm not able to see the slide so just have a look this is the next slide which is there on the screen okay uh, the i'm not able to see the slide but it doesn't matter i'll follow my notes the next slide is on primacy of learning so there is a famous quotation yeah the uh, slide is not visible sir uh, some two three other people are also messaging okay let's try again just give me a second sir is it okay now as uh, raju is the same slide okay oh that might be due to internet issue okay tell me uh, medula i have stopped sharing yeah yeah give me a minute i'll upload it so give me a minute Uh, sir have you given me a host permission so that i can share i'm going to try sharing sir uh, yes sir you are a co-host you i'm going to try, try uh
okay I, I, it's not working for me so i'll have to wait for you to share raju uh, just let me know uh, which is the slide which i need to show second uh, third third slide is this one yes we are at primacy okay. of learning yeah thank you yeah if you can make that full screen please thank you i think when this internet yeah now everybody can see so let's look at primacy of learning so there is a very famous quotation by felicia rashad who's an actor and an activist based in the united states and she talks about how a child before a child can write she can draw before a child can run she dances before a child can even speak she sings and talks about how art is primary that's why we say primacy of learning art is primary please understand teachers and principals and friends that the way we internalize the world the way we look at the world is visual is oral when we look at something in visual and oral right we have so much more learning that is possible i i've told you the neuroscience reasons for it but that is how we primarily internalize the world think to every one of you your mother's voice does not need an introduction even if your mom or dad is going to use a different phone different phone number and speaks to you right from the word hello you know that it is their voice our learning right our learning is what almost all of our learning is oral and visual which is why art integration and arts primacy ends up mattering a lot okay go on to the next slide please we have spoken about the effect that art has on the brain and this is one of the reasons why art integration is now being asked for as a very very major idea okay it has already already been shown not just in terms of music but even visual art ends up having a tremendous effect on learning a tremendous effect on the way the brain ends up functioning okay so here's a little something for you as we are doing this once again i want everyone to try closing your eyes when i play this i know for almost all of us um you're not thinking only of the song you're thinking of amita bachchan you're thinking of the rakhi you're thinking of the movie you're thinking of that scene you're thinking of who you were with when you saw the movie how old you were imagine as i said the amount of associations the amount of network connections that the brain is doing just in response to this particular melody yes i remember like um, it is the garden of roses so many associations we all have that is the effect on the brain so imagine if um, you know something very complex let's say set theory right is presented either as a song or maybe as a visual as a sculpture 
let us say that you know as a learning resource we are able to create a, a sculpture a commission a sculpture or a visual and we are able to share it and a child looks at that right first before he actually looks at his textbook how much more he is going to be able to remember okay um sir we have already gone to the next slide i am still seeing the previous slide on the screen uh, could we please go on to the next slide please could we please go to the next slide please Hello, uh, Medula. Can you please scroll to the next slide? Raju, net net is little slow. Is this the one? Same. We are we are in the same slide. Yeah, we are looking at my pencils. Yeah, Mridula, I think we can now see your, uh, you know, slide. Please go to slide number seven. Is it An is it yeah. visible? Anil sir. Hello. I think if you keep it in this mode. Uh, yeah, it is good for me. Yeah. Uh, I think Sanil sir's line has got disconnected. He's just trying to reconnect it. Okay. Yeah, he's back. No, I think the internet is uh, really acting up today. Can everybody hear me? Anil sir, can we keep it in this mode instead of uh, making it a full screen? I think. Yeah, that's that fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I, and we have to uh, we have to mute people. Um, Raju ji, can I please request you to mute everyone um, and also uh, disable chat, please? Sure. I think all that is uh, also creating uh, internet congestion. Thank you, everyone. I'm glad you're able to hear me. But I think if we can disable uh, chat and also if we can put uh, on mute, you can mute me also and I'll unmute myself. Okay, um, so I'll continue. I, uh, I thought we were muting everyone. Well, clearly we have not muted everyone. Okay. So the first point was on art being not separate. The second point was on primacy of learning. The third point was the effect on the brain, which I had just described. We just used Kabi Kabi as an example. The next part, I think we've skipped a slide, but doesn't matter, was the effect on function. Okay. Now I want everybody to once again, just listen in. I'll play something and uh, 
if you know the song hum along or clap along um ma'am please you're going very fast the slide before this please could we go to the slide before please no you're going you're going to the slide after could we go to the slide before yes please just pause it here the very fact that all of you are you know are doing fastest finger first is your effect on function i thought i will have to explain this point but you are already demonstrating the point to me so uh, music not only has an effect on the brain but it has an effect on behavior right it makes you have an effect on function all art has an effect on function you look at art or you listen to art or you experience art it automatically creates a behavioral change it automatically creates a behavioral change and uh, the brain and the neurophysiological reasons for that i have already told you but um, the fact that you have demonstrated that by a well known song i think i don't need to spend so much on this now can we go on to the next slide the next slide is on subliminal messaging so i'm just going to stop here for a second um, i want it want you to tell me um, you know i was really thinking if i use a couple of examples here but let me use examples that you may not know and just see what idea you get now i'm going to play two pieces of music the first piece of music is just this and i'll play another piece of music which is uh, which is this and even without me talking about it you'll know that the first piece of if i were to ask you to do match the following and i said these are the two pieces of music um and then these are the two words one is a marching band and the second is rain drop which one will be match with which and i know automatically all of you will match the first piece of music to rain drops and the second piece of music to a marching band now subliminal messaging is messaging that is we are using art to convey a mood art to convey an idea without actually mentioning it so even if i were just to say once upon a time in the cold of the night the winds were blowing and you can all already start listening to raindrops falling on the roof or raindrops being there in the environment right or if i were to say it was the beginning of the battle of buxar right so when we have these yes it is background music but background music is often used to subliminally message an idea just like background art visual art also subliminally messages ideas so when we are talking about art integration sometimes you don't have to announce to the class class i am using music class i am using art the very fact that it is there they will automatically get the message that you are trying to convey including a mood you want people to be serious you got music for that you want people to um, be active and alert you got music for that you want people to be calm quiet meditate you have music for that 
whatever be the mood without even actually announcing it saying now i want you to meditate just by playing that music you will automatically get them to do it okay that's the point of the subliminal messaging let's look at the next learning what does the next learning tell us let's go to the next slide creativity is necessary okay so think through this okay when we are preparing our lesson plans so let's say today my class i have to teach the decimal system right most of us already use different forms of creativity we are walking into that classroom not saying okay i will just look at the textbook and just read out the textbook most of us who try our best we are trying to say okay let me introduce it using examples let me introduce it using a song many of us already think about these things it's not like we are not thinking but now with art integration and nep we are saying that this is becoming necessary which means that our class plans are going to change what is a class plan okay a class plan is telling you what you need to do for the first 10 minutes the next 10 minutes the next 10 minutes and so on and it's actually a minute to minute plan of what we need to do yes it is necessary okay and in that how can creativity play a part creativity often is going to become a friend an aid an assistant to you okay if we start having a, a toolkit of exercises so many things that i'm talking about are toolkits of exercises right um uh toolkits of exercises that are uh that are needed so, okay somebody is asking me why am i not connecting it to english um i will get to language you just have to give me a little bit of time so that i can get through my points okay um okay let's do an english song like how do i plan to teach the vowels right the english alphabet is divided into consonants but let's a friends for you the english alphabet is divided into consonants and a e i o u a e i o u are the vowels for you a e i o u remember you'll be true the english alphabet is divided into consonants and a e i o u okay so that is to satisfy the person who said i did not do english okay um there are obviously going to be um uh something special for hyper children okay can you all hold on to your questions please there is a q and a okay um creativity is necessary i think i'm doing more demonstration and less of talking i think makes makes this go but here's the thing uh not everybody can sing not everybody can play not everybody can you know um keep putting up charts and things like that but if we create for example rhapsody or altura on altura the idea is that we we create a a set of such exercises we create a set of such toolkits and aids and facilities available that you can draw upon every time you want so you can always plan your class saying first 5 minutes i'm going to do an ice breaker now you're all going to do an ice breaker with me this is how you're going to do it uh, you all know the rub take your hands apart and then i say 1 2 3 you clap 1 2 I didn't say three, and yet you're clapping. So always listen to the instructions. So you rub your hands, you take your hands apart. You, um, if I'm going to give you three alphabets, if all three alphabets are vowels, clap. If all three alphabets are not vowels, even if there is one consonant, don't clap. Okay, A, E, and I, and then you get the children to clap. Now that is, for example, an idea. of an ice breaker exercise now imagine walking into a classroom let's say primary classes and you tell them to rub their hands take your hands apart you know i'm going to give you three words if all three words are um all three words are vegetables then clap even if one word is not a vegetable don't clap and then you say tomato potato and beetroot and then they clap then they're actually learning how beetroots i mean how vegetables are classified so Let's say that is the icebreaker exercise, and we spend five minutes of that. After that, we get into the lesson on vegetable groupings, following which we do a song on vegetables, and then we do an icebreaker clap again. 
imagine the level of learning that's happening because you've got attention alertness cognition concentration focus empathy listening physiological development of the brain and most of all as far as the 21st century uh, language is concerned creativity they are now beginning to understand is part of our language and not a special class where only in that class we do art but art is part of our class okay let's go on to the next slide our next slide please okay our next place it says that art needs to be there in skill in craft and in endeavor so what is a skill so the way i am now uh, talking about how we use music to teach our vowels music to teach the periodic table and all of that is actually art in skill because we are actually for the skill of teaching we are using art so that's art integrated teaching so that's a skill but we will also use actual craft so for example how do we use lessons in which let's say we are talking about the planets we actually get them to work with chart paper and make planets and stick them on a chart these are things that we already do art integration will also be art as endeavor which is the learning of the art form itself for which we have music classes art classes etc etc so what does the uh, nep refer to in terms of art integration it is saying art in skill so art integrated teaching like what i am talking about right art integrated craft which is art and craft which we are all doing we can do group work and things like that in class using craft materials but also art as an endeavor which means learning the art form itself so let's actually understand s c e skill craft and endeavor okay art integrated teaching arts and crafts and also art as an endeavor or art as an art form itself so all three the nep is saying are necessary now let's go on to the next slide and the next slide is an important slide okay this is a very very important slide so i am going to spend a little more time on this slide we're saying don't categorize but integrate so one of the things that i've seen a lot of teachers do is saying okay out of the four periods i have this week for maths one period i will do art integrated teaching everything else i will do my normal maths now when you start saying something is normal it means that the other thing is abnormal so please let's let's not do that okay art integration needs to become part of our language it it doesn't mean that that alone will keep for a special class but every other class we'll just stick to exactly what we are doing because children will, more than children you will also start getting confused then okay and then sooner or later it starts just becoming an additional burden on ourselves and we don't really do it because we want to but we end up doing it because we have to uh, and that's the danger of categorizing right when we start saying oh art integrated learning oh what is that why why i mean i'm already doing these things let me do that maybe once a term i don't want to do it the moment we start categorizing it so we really really need to internalize the fact that it needs to be a part of everything to do so um i'm so tempted now using my own lessons to make up a song about this on the spot okay and um, i'm going to make it to the tune of believer <laughs> categorize but integrate your lessons don't categorize but integrate your lessons good for you if you do it in it is good for you okay so we need to integrate what we are doing um into everything we do it's as i said so one of the things that we could as schools start looking at is do we have for example we use just a laptop and a bluetooth speaker maybe we can just play these songs right if if we have art materials which are displayed or um, you know very integrated interesting videos that we make as part of our class plans even before this is a special thing on one particular class but every class okay if we are able to do this how fantastic it would be so that's the point on don't categorize but integrate okay now let's go on to the next slide okay this is again um, an important so learning art integration is a solution it's not a stop gap okay we can't say that um, you know we will just try it out for a month and see how it works no we'll have to rework our class plans we'll have to rework our lesson plans such that 
even a small exercise like this even a small icebreaker exercise or something is peppered into every lesson plan that we have we cannot say we'll try it and see whether it works for us that unfortunately according to the government and according to the people who decided that is no longer a choice but let's actually i'm saying this is fun okay uh, and many of you i know are very passionate about doing things in the home some of you are very good gardening people some of you are very good cooks some of you are very good uh, interior decorators i know you all have multiple passions look to your passions okay bring your passion into the classroom see how you can use something in your passion into the classroom if you are very interested in gardening and you are a biology biology teacher fantastic even if you are not a biology teacher still talk about your plants you know sometimes when you are looking for inspiration just look to your passion and it will bring so much joy so much delight and so much happiness into your face that it will automatically translate into art integration for the children because they can see the art of being happy as perhaps one of the best arts that they can learn okay so let's not just find okay we will just use three three lessons in these three lessons across the year we will just use some art no we have to do this for every lesson and that that means that we need to look at this as a solution and not as a stop gap okay let's go to the next slide okay the next slide is talking to what we are doing today which is we have to keep coming back to this training i know many of you want to come back to this training because i keep playing songs on that note i'm going to play um an important uh, song okay so this is a tamil song um so those of you who are from tamil nadu uh, will probably remember this but i will play it and then i will explain what the song says Okay, so I'm going to ask Raja Lakshmi, ma'am, to unmute herself and uh, tell us what the song is and what it what it says because I know you know the song. Raja Lakshmi, ma'am, can I request you to do it instead of me explaining? Yeah, anyone who knows the song, Ramya, you could do that too. Uh, Raja Lakshmi, ma'am, can you hear us? Are you able to hear us? I think today there's a lot of multiple uh, internet issues. I think. Okay. Um, I'll say it myself. Varavu yetana, varavu yetana. Correct. It's varavu yetana. And what is the song Varavu about? Yetana. Correct. It goes something like that. I'm not so good at singing. So what we are getting is less. What we have to do is more. That's what I understood by this. Yeah. Budgeting is what it is about. Yeah, it's budgeting. Right? Yes. Yeah. Exactly. It teaches you that you shouldn't be spending more than you earn. Okay. Yes. Exactly. So uh, and because it comes as a song, it's something that uh, I know most of us would have heard it, um, you know, whatever thirty years ago, whatever. But it stays in our minds forever, right? Um, how I wish I could say the same about my seventh standard physics lesson, right? <laughs> that doesn't stay in my mind for so long, but the song does. So the thing is, this training, right? This art integrated training that we are doing. is probably going to stay with us for a very very long time so the important thing to do is to keep doing this i would say once a quarter every school should invest in art integrated training at least once a quarter so that we keep training and we keep retaining our learnings and start making a log of exercises ideas concepts things that we can do to make art integration a real possibility which is why i call this slide train and retain okay now let's go to the next one okay this is an idea for every teacher i want you to try taking an idea or a concept from another subject compulsorily okay so if you are a maths teacher please take a concept from english if you are an english teacher please take a concept from maths if you are a chemistry teacher take a concept from physics whatever it may be take a new field take an idea from that field 
and see whether that idea can be brought in into your class. So how will we do that? We will do that by, for example, let us say I am an English teacher and let us say the mathematics concept that they are learning is addition. So addition teaches that 2 plus 2 is 4. So how do I bring that idea into my classroom? I can use it to talk about how words are combined, right? I could actually say break plus first, fast is breakfast, right? I could, I could always look at how addition can be used to actually explain a concept in my subject, right? We call it interdisciplinary, but this by the way, teachers, I was about to say by the way, children, anyway, this by the way, teachers, is also art integration because what is the art we are doing? This is the art of creativity, you know? So let's not also think that art only refers to music and painting and drawing and no, no, no. Art is any human endeavor which is arising from a combination of cognition and emotion, okay? Uh, I'm giving you a definition actually. Uh, when we are looking at left brain, right brain, all of those things that I've explained. So here, anything that uses that integration, is classified as art so any form of creativity okay anything that forces you to be creative is coming into your art integration so you don't have to feel bad oh i can't sing how do i bring art integration no it's not only singing it's talking to you about how do you make your classroom a creative classroom right so for example music um i will i will give you a rhythm pattern in music Takadimi takajono, takadimi takajono, takadimi takajono, takita, takadimi takajono, takadimi takajono, takadimi takajono, takita. So when I say takadimi takajono, that is totally eight syllables. Syllables. Eight plus eight plus eight plus three is equal to thirty-five. So I'm going to use thirty-five, okay, in different ways. So if I want to do takadimi takita, takadimi takita, takadimi takita, takadimi takita, takadimi takita. I am doing 7 counts 5 times, 7 fives are also 35. So it will be a very interesting way to show a group to do takadami takajana takadami takajana takadami takajana takita and takadami takita takadami takita takadami takita 5 times, right? And you will still get the same answer and it's very cool. So that's an idea on, you know, complex addition uh, which you are borrowing from music and you will be able to integrate and show. Um, is everybody able to hear me fine? Yeah, okay. Somebody asked me, is there a network issue? So I don't know, maybe they are having a network issue. Okay. So let's go on to the next slide. Invest in new methods. I think this I've spent a lot of uh, time. Okay. Um, the next slide, please. You can go to the next slide. Yeah. So um, every every week i would like us to commit to trying one new method every week and i'm going to tell you something very personal okay to most of us almost all of us what is the first thing we do as soon as we get up in the morning no we don't brush our teeth we don't pray we don't do any of those things you all know what we do these days the immediate first thing we do even as our eyes are opening is reach for our phones okay and we are checking our whatsapp or checking our emails or what facebook or whatever it is we are reaching for our phones okay we have forgotten to even reach for our loved ones we are reaching our phones the phone has become the loved one which is why i would call it our phony life and the phony times that we are living in it is very phony indeed okay and let me tell you, right? And by the way, your WhatsApp is not telling you anything positive. It's social media is not giving you anything positive. It is just filling your head with all kinds of weird, toxic ideas. Start your day on that note. Um, Kavita is saying, I'm not audible. Am I not audible? Am I audible? Yes, sir. Now it's clear. Okay. Uh, I think there's just multiple issues today on internet. So it's audible. It's audible now. Yeah, it's audible. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. I don't know what's happening today, but uh, it it is the internet. Like, there's very little any of us can do. Okay. Um, 
is there any important match on today because i'm wondering why the internet is being clogged up right i think uh, maybe uh, ipl is clogging up our lines okay so we are all reaching for our phones i would say instead of that let's invest in a new method okay for the next 21 days and i want you all to take this as a challenge for the next 21 days try not to pick up your phone first thing in the morning instead for just count to 20 just count to 20 and smile smile 20 sw- just count to 20 this is all you have to do 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay just smile for 20 seconds before you do anything before you search for your kid before you reach for your phone before you worry about something just smile for 20 seconds 20 seconds is not going to do anything but trust me if you do this for 21 days i will change my name if it does not lower your bp if it does not make you a happier person i will change my name i will change my name to kangana ranaut i promise it does not change your um, okay <laughs> really please 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 listen to what i am saying because we have become a very toxic culture all of us okay where we are allowing technology to use us instead of us using technology okay and i'm i'm telling you this in a very important way just try it it's very easy to do and if it works for you like me please pass it on to other people okay what well, this is what i mean by saying invest in new methods okay every week we must commit to investing in one new method which will allow creativity and allow art to come into our classroom it is just one day a week i want us to try investing in new methods if we want art integration to help us and to succeed all we have to do is invest in one new method every single week okay moving on to the next idea the next slide okay this is also equally important weight it appropriately okay there is a mistake in the appropriately spelling but luckily i spotted it before you did okay weight it appropriately what does that mean it means that yes all lessons all classes cannot become art integrated i understand straight away but if you start with one lesson a week and if it goes well then you increase it to two lessons a week if it goes even better make it three lessons a week you pace yourself okay <laughs> nobody is telling you now <clears throat> all lesson plans all class plans have to change from tomorrow morning no that's not possible we are human right <clears throat> but if we are able to start with one lesson a week move it to two move it to three and we start pacing ourselves and recording our observations and weight it appropriately this can become a slide and this is an important slide for altura for macmillan and for rhapsody and me okay the next slide is going to be an important slide for the rest of us okay can we have the next slide please can i have the next slide please yeah if we need to use resources okay when i say resources right you know that altura is a resource you know that rhapsody is a resource right we know that all these things are resources okay we need to not feel shy about dipping into the bag of resources and using them appropriately right too often we fail to ask for help okay and this is not just resources in the form of uh, people that uh, like i'm talking about but i'm also talking about resources in the form of other other friends other teachers who might be able to give us ideas okay the next slide tells us that it is teacher training reinvestment that all of us need to look at so Uh, this is a point that's already been made the like, sli- excuse me sir slides yeah. are not visible sir slides slides are not visible sir okay i am not controlling slides the, yeah i understand ma'am i am not the one controlling the slides uh, whoever is working the slides if you can work on it i am able to see the slides so i don't know it is visible to me it is visible okay, to a lot sir. of people thank you sir okay uh, ma'am um, whoever is controlling the slide could you please go back to 
the one on teacher training reinvestment i think you've already gone ahead yeah so it is extremely important for us to invest and reinvest in teacher training i hope that the schools that are with us today will be able to take this uh, point home i at this point i'm going to play something because i've been talking for too long I played Ajib Dasta hai is because we are in the middle of a pandemic and uh, how beautiful it is that instead of being fearful of the pandemic, the two friends of yours, Macmillan and Rhapsody, could come together and look at a teacher training reinvestment which we are doing right now. And it is an Ajib Dasta. Okay, it is a strange world, but I think whenever we find ourselves in moments of doubt. Okay, we need to be able to look at our look look at stop, pause, and reinvest in training ourselves. I think every time these kinds of pauses are given by nature. To right now, it's a, a pandemic. It's a very sad pause. We should be able to go back to reinvesting in art integration, and I hope that we'll be able to do these sessions more and more. Okay, now let's come to the next slide, which is on design thinking. Okay. Uh, teachers, don't worry if you can't see the slides. I am sending them to you. As you know, every week I mail them to you, so you can see it at your own leisure, and you'll be able to remember the points. Okay? Uh, we need desperately to reinvest in design thinking. What does design thinking mean? Too many people think design thinking is about designing products nicely. Design thinking is actually a whole science, and it is more about thinking than it is about design. Okay? And what is what do we mean by thinking? It means that whenever we create a solution, we need to take um, empathy. and we need to be able to um uh put everything together okay um um shrinivas if you are on the call people are saying they have not got the slides could you please respond yeah, to that uh, see we have sent the say, slides for everyone uh, some of you have given your mail ids wrongly on the form like there are uh, spelling mistake instead of gmail.com it is gmail.co and things like that uh, so in case if you are not uh, received the files you can just drop in a mail to admin at rapsodymusic.in and we'll be sending anil, it to you again anil sir i'll i'll take up this question at the end of the session uh, we yeah i think um, i i i don't know i'm trying my best to do the session but people are telling me these things so i don't know how to respond Teachers, uh, uh, we have a Q and A session, so uh, I think we can definitely take it up. Uh, and those who have not got the slides, you'll definitely get it. As uh, Srinivasan has said, that there were issues with uh, correct email IDs. So don't worry, all the slides and all the other materials from Anil sir will be receiving to you. Let's continue with the session, please, sir. I don't know. I think we should first adopt a happy mindset because I'm trying my best to give you as much music and as many suggestions as possible. When I see only complaints on the chat box, I feel demotivated. So maybe I should stop, Raju sir. I'm it feeling is. very demotivated. I don't think I can continue if uh, yes. if people are not listening and people are only complaining. I think I should stop. Okay, maybe we stop the session here and. Uh, because i think we need to create a culture of support coordination and engagement and we should stop this negativity at once um, i am getting blamed for things that i am not responsible for so i would like to say goodbye on this point um, raju sir and you can take over i am feeling very demotivated right now uh, 
teachers, as uh, Srinivasan has already said, there are, uh, you know, uh, error in the email IDs because of which the slides may not have reached you. So what we are going to do is we are, you know, you can just drop a mail to any of your nearest Macmillan office or any rep that you know. We are going to share all the slides of all the three webinars to your respective schools or to your email IDs the moment we get the correct email ID. So that will be taken care of. Okay, so can we uh, can we please uh, see some positive notes in the chat box and uh, help Anil sir to continue with the session? So uh, no, I've also got a lot of private uh, chat messages saying uh, when will we get our certificate? I think these are questions to be addressed to Raju sir or the Macmillan team, not to me. Okay. Um, and I don't think it's correct, teachers, if we set a precedent that when somebody is speaking, instead of listening to what they're saying, you are more worried about the certificate that you're getting than what, are, what is the message we're going to be giving teacher, with, <laughs> giving children. Okay. Um, I, I can be nice and I can be helpful, but I'm also human. And uh, it is very demotivating if instead of listening, I'm playing, right? When I'm playing, people are messaging me. Uh, on private chat saying when should I get the certificate okay this is not fair teachers this is not fair um, students uh, uh, fair to school heads either okay um, for those who are messaging I know many of you are not doing that but there are many who are doing these messages my suggestion is please stop okay please stop to listen the whole point of this course and the whole point of these webinars is to help you it is not about helping me okay so please make it a point to please listen i know that many of you are not doing these things but for those who are please don't message unless it is pertinent right to what we are being discussing i think things on certificates slides not received these are questions that you must place to the macmillan team i'm very sure they will help you sort it out okay do in not fact, put it on the chat box we, we will address to all those once this session gets over sir right so um, on design thinking so let me continue on design thinking is like I said, it's more about thinking and less about design. So what does that mean? It means that the way we think about solutions has to change. What does that mean? It means that we need more empathy. Okay. Very apropos to the point that I'm discussing right now. Okay. We need to think about the other person, right? When we design a solution for the classroom, we cannot design a solution which is only good for us. We have to design something that's good for the children but it should also be good for us. But we must also think about the resources that the school can provide, resources that we can use outside. Design thinking gets into these kinds of things, okay? Design thinking by itself should be a set of webinars that I, maybe um, Macmillan and I can plan to do separately because I'm also uh, an expert, supposedly an expert on design thinking because I teach that in university. But it is a much bigger discipline, okay? Let's go on to the next slide. Okay, important, please listen to children and talk to children. Do not talk at children. Too many of us are talking at children. Okay, we are also not listening to what they're saying. Sometimes children from their body language, you can understand whether they are with you or they are not with you, right? Um, since this is something that art teaches you and I'm on this note and to improve my mode and everybody else's mode, I'm going to play something.
great advantage of music and art like that is that uh, it makes you listen, no? And just for that, I think we should be using more of it in the classroom. And when I start with playing a tune, we automatically end up having a conversation with one another, not a conversation at one another, right? Listen to children, talk to children. Let's go on to the next slide. Okay. Um, I have never understood this word. Okay. I have never understood what is extracurricular because uh, music and art are integrated parts of the curriculum. So remember again the framework that art as skill, art as craft and art as endeavor is all part of the curriculum. It's all part of the timetable. It's not something that we do after the last period is over. So I think here is a big motion and a great idea that I'm going to give. I'm going to start a petition to ban the word extracurricular. I think if something is interesting and something is useful, it should be curricular. Otherwise, let's not have it in the school at all is the way I would look at it. Right. So if something needs to be considered extracurricular, I think that is something children should do at home. I mean, why are we bringing it into the school? Because if it is interesting and it is useful and it is something that uh, will benefit children, we should look at how to integrate it into the curriculum. We get into this idea that, oh, we don't have enough periods. Then I think we need to look at how we are designing those periods. Instead of design thinking the solution through, we can't say, okay, put it as extracurricular, extracurricular, extracurricular. What is this curriculum? It is not set in stone. We are looking at a world which is changing. Okay. We cannot be referring even history. I know history becomes the most controversial topic where, you know, a lot of revisionist ideas of uh, history is now being presented. As we are updating our curriculum, it's not that the curriculum was made in 1950 and we're just sticking to that. We are changing that. We need to start looking at how do we bring in interesting ideas, right? So art integration is one of those interesting ideas that can come into this kind of deliberation and we do design. thinking maybe we get the, i don't know i'm going to put a very uh, interest idea of periods itself could be looked at every class every day or maybe some days we have be oriented and open-minded towards understanding ideas right so yes we now say co-scholastic we don't say extracurricular right okay let's go on to the next slide if you can have the next slide please yeah what I mean by this is that you are already teachers perfect in your own creativity. As I said, many of you are passionate about things uh, outside the curriculum. You are, you know, an, a passionate gardener, maybe a passionate singer, somebody who's interested in history. You have so many hobbies, you have so many interests and passions. Please start bringing that into the class that itself counts as art integration. So please do that. Bring yourself to the class. You are not just supposing your name is Gita, you're not just Gita teacher, you are Gita the person, okay, bring the person to the class, art integration will automatically happen, okay, the next slide please. What is the most interesting creative expression of yourself? Um, while I'm going to give you homework today, um, it is homework that you carry on for the rest of your teaching life. Um, I'm going to give you one easy example for that could be gone to the next slide and that's your easy example of that the next slide please okay i want you to start molding yourself don't measure yourself and this is a very important lesson i'm giving you okay starting from this day this is the famous quotation right today is the first day of the rest of your life so it means that forget about everything you know in the past how are you going to First of all, convince yourself that you are a very creative person. And on top of it, how are you going to make sure that you bring that creative person into the classroom and start molding your own teaching pedagogy and don't worry about measurements, just mold it, right? And I can tell you, just like I told you, count to 20 and smile in the morning, that if you start developing your own practices, your own methods, your own ideas, hobbies, passions that you bring into the classroom, 
you will mold not only yourself but the next generation of game changing children and that is in your hands i do believe in you despite the fact that there are some people who are complaining in their chat boxes and i get irritated i am telling you right now everybody you have the capacity to be superb extraordinary miraculous change makers you have to believe in it it is as somebody once told me this you are already perfect the only thing that you need to change is to take yourself out of your own way the only constraint to becoming the best version of yourself teachers is you you are your own constraint you are the one who is afraid to fail sometimes you are afraid to change no if you have a great idea and you have the courage of conviction mold the syllabus mold your practice mold your delivery forget about the measurements okay i almost feel like giving myself an award just for that vote for me okay all right next uh, next slide please can i have the next slide okay we are working on a child's mind and not the brain so yes i keep talking about music and the brain and art and the brain that is for you background information to understand neuroscience but we are working with the mind so please understand that the mind as in the picture that you are seeing is full of different ideas and different things it's not just one thing right so the more we can art integrate the more we can bring different ideas into the classroom we will mold our minds as well as the child's mind which is this slide could we have the next slide please now i start going faster because i know time is of a essence next slide please the next slides are all easy it's just one second each retool next slide next slide teachers here is a very powerful idea every morning just write one new idea in a diary or a journal or even in your phone's notepad just start it's called morning pages it is one new idea that you can come up with every day and it could be an idea for a very silly thing like a different way of making tea or it could be an idea that you read somewhere or it's something that you want to try or a new book that you want to read it doesn't matter but just for one week try maintaining what we call morning pages okay that is your first step towards art integration next slide please is a great example of art and science i don't i've already told you this einstein was a great violinist and as good as he was as a scientist most of his great inspirations came when he played music there is an article on this that i'm going to be emailing to all of you again emails please get them reconfirmed with raju or srinivas and team so that they make sure that they get it out to you let's think of another person who's a great example of being an artist as well as a scientist next slide next slide raja ramanna i don't know how many of you have heard of him he was a great astrophysicist very indispensable to india was a great pianist and i have the great honor of saying that at one point of time he taught me okay uh, it has been my great privilege to have learned some compositions under him and raja ramanna as good as he was as a pianist was also a great physicist okay next slide I don't need to introduce this person to all of you. Again, a great example of somebody who believed that art needs to be integrated into education, not kept as extracurricular as something separate. I, since you all know who Montessori is, I'm not going to spend time on that. Next slide, please. Please prioritize art integration, teachers. It's important. Okay. As I said, don't think of this as some extra punishment that we have to do. it is something that we need to put every one of us into our class plans into our lesson plans into our curriculum okay the reason that somebody like me is spending so much time with you okay so much time trying to make you understand this is because i have prioritized you for me you are important not your certificate or not the fact that you didn't get your email or whatever what is important to me is you okay and i believe in you at least for my belief please prioritize art integration okay next slide please yeah right so i'm going to do this as an enjoyment
ओके आर्ट मेक्स यू एंजॉय योर सेल्फ आर्ट मेक्स यू हैप्पी सो लेट्स नॉट मेक दिस एन मेक दिस एन इम्पोजिशन लेट्स एंजॉय आर सेल्स कैन वी हैव द लास्ट स्लाइड प्लीज yeah please take care because this ends officially my three part webinar series for you on art integration don't worry this 30 slides i i made it 30 suggestions because one for each day of the month i have given you some very i would say interesting ideas to try uh, we've talked a lot about how art integration works you've also gone through a set of interesting questions um all of this is meant to help you uh once again my requests on administrative things i am not the person on emails and that didn't reach and certificate these are other people taking care of that i am only your uh, teacher for these sessions uh, i am going to offer two things the first thing is <coughs> if you want to schedule a one on one session with me okay for a specific a uh, question or a specific idea uh, there is going to be a google form that is given to you please fill that google form so that we can schedule appointments where i am available to you for specific things if you want me to work with your schools though those are also those conversations that we can have separately um and that google form is going to be sent to you uh, i know that between macmillan and me on the altura platform we are coming up with more retooling retraining uh, more inspiring ideation sessions for you on this already this year as part of the workbook macmillan has already integrated five art integrated sessions for class 3 4 and 5 i would encourage all of you to try those lessons if you are teaching those classes hopefully from here it only gets better and better and with that I, it's uh, salam namaste to all of you thank you for putting up with me i know uh, except today with internet issues i'm sorry that we had some challenges I also want to apologize that for about 2 minutes I kind of got a bit irritable but that was only because there were too many questions coming to me in my private chat box about certificates which I had no idea where they were coming from um but hey I am a teacher like you and just like you can sometimes get a little annoyed with your class I can also get annoyed with my class so that's what it is um and with that I'm going to uh, play Raju what is your favorite song I'm going to play your favorite song Okay so uh, it's from Mary Jung zindagi har kadam ek naya jang hai if you can play that ah why don't know that song uh, <laughs> okay maybe any, yeah. any any kishore kumar any, any kishore kumar. kumar okay okay yeah. i'll play i'll play this for you sure So my so challenge is going to be that I must listen to Raju's favorite song and play it next time. I promise to do that. Okay, uh, but teachers and school heads, um, my thanks to you for putting up with me for all these sessions. Um, I said I am very very sure that between my team at Rhapsody and at Macmillan's team with Raju, they will make sure that you get the slides and the Google form where if you want to schedule one on ones, you can. so don't worry about it certainly you will all get your certificates and if you don't it doesn't matter because i want you to do your morning pages so please continue to take these learnings forward uh, and thank you so very much okay raju over to you thank you so much mridula can you stop sharing the screen <coughs> thank you so teachers uh, i'm going to flash uh, email id 
please uh, you know take this email id all those who have not received your pbts or you know any uh, the home assignment which uh, dr anil has already assigned in the other two webinars also just drop a mail from your school's email id in the say uh, email id that i'm going to share and we will definitely get back to you we will make sure that you get all the pbts and the home assignment so so here's the email id for you please send us a mail from your school's email id it's macmillan marketing at the rate macmillan education.com so those who have not received the pbts and we would also encourage you to send us a feedback on this course that uh, you know was designed uh, by macmillan and rapsody for you so please send us a feedback as well as let us know if you have not received your pbts and assignment to this uh, email id and we will get back to you as i say that everybody will be getting your pbts as well as the assignments okay so i hope that solves your queries thank you so much thank you raju and uh... We will stay connected and uh, teachers and heads, my love to you all and my best wishes to you all to make a great success of art integration, which I know we are going to rock the nation. So stay tuned and you will get more updates from us at Altura uh, Rhapsody in association with Macmillan. So uh, a great privilege to be part of this. Thank you once again. Thank you so Thank much, you, sir. Anil sir. That was really, a, a, you know, a very good session once again, and uh, we hope that the teachers and the thank school leaders. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. I, we hope that the teachers and the school leaders are immensely benefited from this course. On behalf of Macmillan and Rhapsody, we thank mm -hmm. all of you for taking up this course. Uh, to get access to the uh, interesting lesson plans designed by Dr. Anil, uh, you know, you can actually. Uh, drop a mail to any of your nearest Macmillan office and request for a demo for our new product, Altura. So you can see the art integrated lesson plans that Dr. Anil was already mentioning in the sessions. And uh, you can have access to this and you can start taking those to your classrooms. So um, those who have, as I said, those who have not received the PPTs and the assignments, the mail ID has already been shared with you. Please drop a mail to us. And uh, this course was designed as a certification course for all those who have registered for all the three webinars and have also taken part in all the three webinars. So those who have registered and taken part in all the three webinars, you will definitely be getting uh, your certificates in your school email IDs, uh, you know, after a week. And in case if you have not received it, you have the email ID with you, just drop a mail to us and we will cross check and make sure that you receive your certificates as well. As promised, the certificates will definitely reach you. Thank you very much, teachers. And thank you, Professor Anil. Thank you, Team Rhapsody. Uh, hopefully, we'll again meet in our next webinar. Thank you. Thank you, sir.